show you how I use my ruler today. I'm working on my painting that I'm working currently when I'm sitting in my sofa. So I'm going to show you two different. This one is round and I also gonna show when I use the square ruler. So yes, I have been using this ruler on this picture only the this road the first road i didn't use it so you can see how um, they are not so straight as you can see at here so yeah i wanted to try out using the ruler so that's quite nice i have not been working on this picture for a long long time and yeah i have already placed this ruler on top of the other I did before so I don't have to do quite big video and um, so yeah let's get started I am working on Mula from Diamond Art Club uh, so this is just a, a more like yeah, how you can do it if you want to do it faster and how you would do it when you using a ruler what's the difference um i had the time to do a little video with you so yeah i already have used it here so this is just fill in uh when i did before I'm going to take one of the other colors afterwards so you can see how I put in. This is just the this I already have done for this painting. So I really like uh, doing round rails right now. I am working on crafty, but this is my when I'm relaxing, looking at my TV, yeah, and I think it's quite nice to do the ruler when I'm sitting here because when I'm doing the ruler, I cannot do so many mistakes. It takes time, but it gets better, better results. So yeah, I did order this ruler on um, what's it called AliExpress. It took me almost, yeah, how long? Two or three months to get it. So I'm, I'm not gonna link it down below from the same uh, company. So yeah, they have quite cheap uh, rulers on AliExpress. Uh, really like it when I did get it. So I had had it for a while now and uh, I wanted to do the ruler on uh, the other paintings, but it didn't work. So Diamond Art Club, it works. So if you have Diamond Art Club, it's okay. <coughs> but I know it's kind of different on square and run. When you're working on the ruler, it's not quite as easy with the squares like the run. But I don't have any quite so much issue my mom also ordered uh, one for the square and she's struggling a little bit more because it's so you have to kind of wiggle it in uh, but it's okay I got some in here I if you hear the clicking sound I know it's down at the um, in this place so I like when the clicking sound come so yeah i have taken my time on this picture because i want to do it with a roller so i'm not going to be finished quite fast as the other but i love the ruler and it's fun 
to do. I think it's fun. Uh, you have more patience. And you know you cannot uh, multiplace as fast. D3. So, so yeah. I totally recommend to use it. So. I'm totally back to my normal. I love the containers. So. I did not do so much enhancement with this painting. I did put in a, a few pink uh, AB in the because I no they have pink in this painting. Did I? No, I didn't enhance this picture. No. So when I have the clicking sound, it's okay. And I know I have placed it in the right spot. So you can slide onto the, the area, it's no problem. So I like very much. I do this uh, kind of setup so you can come closer and see how I do it. That's why you are so much closer. And it's easier when I'm sitting down. So yeah. You can also do it like, um, I haven't tried that out yet, but I believe I could uh, do this first, take it off and fill in all the, all the spots that's left. Uh, I can do it like that. Also, I have not tried it out. Maybe that could go faster. Because then you have the opening for uh, the color. You don't have to do it twice. Because now I have to do it twice with the colors. But I think this is fun to do. No problem. And um, maybe I'm going to try that for the next um, square I'm going to work on. Maybe I'm going to try to do one and lift it up and do the second one and fill in after. Maybe that could be a great idea. I was thinking maybe I should fill in this one now and take it off so you can see how it is. Um, and then I can go to the other um, painting. Uh, for the squares. Where can I find it? Where is it? Oh my god, I can't find the symbol. I'm not used to the symbols yet. Uh, so it takes me a little longer time to find this, but yeah, it's okay. And I hate when this color is kind of um, grayish you see the square is kind of yellow so you're always going for the yellow color so this one is kind of very annoying for me but yeah So yes, it... do you use ruler? Did you like it the first time you was using it? I love it. I love the end result of the the ruler is sitting in the It's not so hard with the round drill to get up the ruler again. Uh, the square was kind of a little bit more difficult. But because the round is kind of not 
it's a little bit bigger in each grid I'm putting in the color not quite the same with the square did I get everything yeah so yeah it, it goes both ways because you have to change colors out quite often uh, Maybe I'm gonna do 50 minutes on this one and 50 minutes on the square drill. So five minutes, then I'm gonna change up to the square so I can put in both round and square on this um, movie. So if you are missing the clicking sound, you can use the ruler and you get the clicking sound. So that's quite nice. Um, so yeah, I can see quite good different. And um, it's easy to define the numbers. It's not much number around, so you have to, uh, you got, Fewer you can follow, so that's also a good thing. I think it's a good thing to use. When I don't get a cricking sign, I always used to try to get it in. And then when I hear it, it's okay. But the glue in the pan needs more amount of glue because I'm pressing them down so they get into the grid and I know they are stuck in there. So I see, oh my god, that almost flew wrong way. So I see that I use more of the wax and normally I do when I'm working on the run. But that's okay, I have lots of wax. So that should not be a problem. I'm almost done with the color. Maybe I should do the uh, do it done, and I can change to the oh my god, the square one because it's not so quite much color to do. Okay, dropped one. That's okay. So if I can do this a little bit fast. Then I can take the grid off, and you can see how it how it is when I take it off. I'm so cross concentrate right now because <laughs> so yeah you concentrate more when you're using the ruler I think so um, and it's uh, quite easy to to lay it down on the uh, picture and if you do it wrong you just lift it up and it's okay to lay it down again so I think that's not a problem.
Oh no. And it's kind of bendly, so thin and bendly. I have only tried one square, I believe, on my one of the painting I did have with square, so I I'm not quite used to that one yet. But I'm gonna try it on my brave picture that I have started on the top. So, so looking forward to see how that goes. Uh, the next one. See, I have some ABs here in the end, so I hope I can put those in before I change out my glue because the glue is kind of going bad right now I have not I've been doing so much on this painting so it can be quite hard when I start it so that's why I have to get new glue into the pan I always like to start with new glue every time I start a picture so but not this time I didn't do the glue before I started now but it seems it's going okay oh. like that maybe I'm gonna do the AB before I start with the uh, three four other colors and then I'm done with that square so I can take it out and show you um, I never use new glue in uh, AB because they eat my glue so I don't like that just no glue at the side as well then in oh my god just like that I don't have any trash table here, so maybe I know. Where are we? Okay, it's okay. I can do the last one afterwards because I don't want this video to be big. But that I do, I lift up before I do. I go over like this, so I know. They are stuck and then I lift on this side and I see every bit of the quills are coming up and I'm lifting and lifting and lifting and you see here it's quite good it's like a checkerboard when I lift it up and and it's good so it's quite easy and it's quite easy to lay down and it's stuck again so yeah i'm just gonna change the painting and then we are gonna do the same with the square be right back okay, so i'm back now with the square and this is bray with diamond Arca. and here is the square uh Ruru. um i can't uh, maybe I can maybe not I'm gonna see if I can but one of this way it would not go uh, we have to get it into the squares uh, it's not quite easy to place it every time but I'm trying 
Mm, no, that one didn't go. So maybe this way. Sometimes you have to turn around the, the ruler to get it in the picture. So it could be probably placed into the picture. Why would it not work on the other end? Maybe try it this way. get it in the last picture I tried but it seems that I have the same problem with this one that I did have with uh, okay try one more time maybe I can start with a light color because it seems like that's the problem <coughs> that I have Sorry for shaking you. Mm. Just like that. Mm. A little bit up. A bit down. Okay. It's not quite easy to get it to fit in. Every time. So you have to... to to try it a few times before maybe it's in place <sighs> why okay I did do it on the new painting why is it so horrible on this painting okay maybe we can do it like this one two one two like it doesn't want to go in the end so <clears throat> this was not easy okay maybe it fit okay it seems like I have to do the it like here first and then I have to move it a little bit so I don't know if this is quite good to use uh, I'm trying trying to fit but it's fit when I I do it like here and it's a problem right there so okay I'm gonna just put it down here uh, and do this for now and I'm gonna fix the other space later so okay I do like this because I'm just gonna show you how I do it um, but today it wasn't willing to be with me so yeah and I have lots of stuff to do okay so since it's the same pen i'm gonna use more wax in this pen just like that and i'm doing the black one first i always start with black color when i'm diamond painting so. So this is just just a demonstration and then I can fix this later because if not I'm gonna still be standing here and struggle okay so they go snugly in to place like this and you hear the clicking sound is also in the same as the other one and then you know it's in the in the place oh my god then it's more harder to do it squares and round 
because you have to do it like a triangle or something like that. Uh, it's harder to get the ruler up again, but if you have them placed quite right, it should not lift the drill. And you are lifting the the grid. not quite easy to get it in and you have to press quite hard to get in in the grid like this and I'm not gonna do the other uh, black one color I'm just demonstrating how it's how I do it and maybe we're gonna take C little bit C and we're gonna lift it up and see because I have to take all of this off again and try to get it at the right way uh, one day so this is just how show you how you can do it with the, this type of And how would they lay down when you're lifting them up? So, a quick demonstration. Some of them are quite nice to put down, some of them are not. So, it depends. Because all squares are different sizes. So it can be more difficult to to get them in to the square itself. Just like that. Okay. Then I have done this little little square. And now I'm gonna lift it up so you can see how nicely they are sitting in the, the spot. So I hope I can get this to, to work on this painting because I want to do, do it with ruler. I just secure the spots that I have done and I lift it up quite slowly. So some of them doesn't want to go off. That's the difference between round and square grid. It's much easier to do it on uh, round because the square is, is kind of stuck in the grid. So there we have it. This is how it turn out I hope you can see it it's very nice uh, and I just fill in afterwards I hope you can see it clear lift it up a little bit oh sorry so yeah it, it it's quite nice to use uh, use the ruler when it works I don't know what happened, why it doesn't want to go into place. Maybe I have problem with the, the symbol, light symbol right here because of my eyes. That's why I'm not have been working on this painting. Um, so yeah, I hope this works so I can work on it again because I really, really love this painting. I want to do be done with it. So, yeah.
So I'm gonna work on this a little bit later. So that was my demonstration about the, um, um, the how I work with the ruler and I hope I could be a help to you. Um, it should not be a problem with diamond art clubs with the ruler. You just have to find the right spot. Um, yeah. But the wrong one is ether and the square. Just so you know. And I hope you have a nice day and hope to see you soon. Bye.